Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is Luke Bo with the Sideline Scoop. So today we're going to cover some injuries and then also sort of look forward to how this sort of could change the Packers offense when it sort of comes to um, week two game against the Lions and for the rest of the season as well. So as most of you guys probably know, if you're watching the Packers game on Sunday, Lane Taylor got injured near the end of the game in the fourth quarter. And it looks like he's going to be out for the rest of the season. It looks like a torn ACL. So, you know, that's super sad to see considering Lane Taylor last season. He was out for most of the season. I think he only played in like one or two games last year because he had like a season ending bicep injury. And he came all the way back from that. He worked all the way through the offseason to get, you know, get healthy. And he made his way back starting on this Packers roster. And now it's sad to see that in his first game back, it looks like he tears his ACL. So, that's rough for him. That's sad. We wish him the best of luck. And then right here, we got this quote from Matt LaFleur. It's significant, obviously. My heart goes out to him just battling back from the significant injury that he had last year. And to get to a position where he was in our starting lineup, certainly he'll, he will be missed. I feel bad for him as an athlete, as a man. It takes a lot to come back from a significant injury. And he put the time in and put himself in a great position to have a great year. It's always tough to see when somebody goes down. So now Lane Taylor is injured. And sort of what happened yesterday during the game um, the Packers sort of had to start out sort of different on the offensive line than they sort of had hoped initially. They had to start Elton Jenkins at the right tackle position because Billy Turner was injured for um, this week's game. And they ended up starting Lucas Patrick on the left side. And then during the game, Lucas Patrick actually got injured as well. So there's just tons of injuries on this um, Packers offensive line just in general with Lane Taylor going down and Lucas Patrick going down and Billy Turner already being out. So, I mean, this Packers offensive line is honestly being pretty beat up in the first game of the season. And then um, after Lucas Patrick got injured, they moved Elton Jenkins back to the left side, brought in Rick Ragnar. He came in at right tackle and rookie John Runyon Jr. replaced Lane Taylor at right guard. So the rookie got sort of his first playing time um, on this Packers team. He didn't really play much, but he played for, I guess, sort of the end of the fourth quarter. And he played pretty good in those uh, few snaps that he did play. But honestly, even though with all this going on on this Packers offensive line, they still allowed zero sacks and um, no penalties at all, even with all this craziness that's going on on this offensive line. So I think that's a good sign. But still, the fact that we don't get to have um, Lane Taylor for the rest of the season, that does definitely, you know, isn't going to help us at all, considering, you know, he's a pretty solid um, offensive lineman. So sort of looking ahead to, to sort of next week's game against the Lions, it's going to be interesting to see sort of how our offensive line stacks up because it seems right now that Lucas Patrick should be back next week and Billy Turner may be back. We're not exactly sure yet. The like entire injury report hasn't come out yet. I think it comes out on Wednesday or Thursday um, sometime this week. So hopefully we'll find out soon sort of exactly what's going to happen there. But sort of just taking a look at this defense, this uh, I was basically looking up the defense of, of the Lions and basically what people sort of think about them. And, you know, the fact that Mitch Trubisky came back on the Lions, Mitch Trubisky isn't really the best quarterback. And so the fact that Mitch Trubisky did that to this Lions team, I'm just uh, honestly not too worried about this Lions game um, on Sunday. I think Aaron Rodgers, you know, no matter what's going to light this team up, just like he did week one. So let's sort of take a look at the grades that who is this John Macar Macaron Macaron is giving this Lions team so defensive line D minus that's true that's good considering you know our offensive line is moving around let's see here early on prior to Jamie Collins departure Detroit displayed the semblance of of, of defense pressuring Mitch Mitchell Trubisky and making things difficult for the Bears offense in the second half and specifically the fourth quarter that all but went away so it seems that Detroit's defensive line started out well against the Bears, but at the end, they couldn't really hold up. And Mitch Trubisky came. He tore them apart. The Lions almost came back and won, but they didn't. And then we got the linebackers. They get an F. Sorry, that's, that's, that's tough for your Lions fan. I guess this team's not good, or at least this Mr. Matt here – or not not Matt, Mr. John Macaron doesn't seem to like this uh, Lions defense. And I'm all for, you know, the Lions not having a good defense. That's, uh, you know, just positive news for this Packers team coming into week two. So, honestly, it seems that from this analysis here – that we could throw out any of our offensive linemen and they should be good against this Lions team. Um, you know, hopefully all of our guys can become, come back healthy besides Lane Taylor, of course, who's going to be out for the season. But um, honestly, I'm not too worried. It looks like uh, our guys are going to be back, going to be solid. I'm excited for week two. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a, another, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to put on another show on this week um, against the Lions, especially, you know, considering the Lions couldn't even hold up against the Bears. So um, considering that fact, I think the Vikings are better than both the Bears and the Lions, and so can you just imagine what Aaron Rodgers is going to do to this Lions team on Sunday? I mean, I'm pumped. I'm super excited. I'm going to do another live stream on that day as well, so make sure you got your notifications on so you can tune into that one. But that's basically what I wanted to break down today in today's video, sort of go over, you know, the fact that Lane Taylor is out for the season. A couple of these, you know, offensive linemen are being moved and switched around, but um, it looks like coming into week two, 
we'll get a couple guys back and hopefully, you know, we'll be uh, ready to go. Hopefully these guys can heal up. And, um, you know, of course, besides Lane Taylor and be ready for the rest of the season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see some more Packers content, I'll probably put out a few, you know, three or four more videos this week um, leading up to week two's game against the um, Detroit Lions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.